Today I'm going to talk about my axe collection. Over the years, from uh, every video, I've been slowly putting them together. You know, might bring them back inside of the video. So let's talk about it. I got chopping axes or splitting axes, only chopping uh, axes or splitting molds. This side here, chopping and splitting. This one, chopping and splitting. This one's a splitting molds. Some unique stuff over here. So let's talk about it, see what I have. I guess we start with this one. This one, why it's so unique, first of all, it says Mountaineer, something like that, a splitting mole, Mountaineer mole. You got right here, thicker edge and a thinner edge. So this is a double build splitting mole. This one of a kind I never seen before. So I figure I'll show it to you guys. And I just kept it because I never seen any more for sale. Obviously, chopper one, what got me all into axes. It's a splitting axe, not chopping axe, because whenever you go to the wood, it will push two pieces apart. Really nice axes, chopper one. And I have a couple of them, because it's a fiber core, and this one has just a different color to it, so I figure I put it to the test. And you see it's original handle, but fiber core, is not good. I have tested it. No wonder they don't make them anymore. It's just too flexible, so it doesn't split as good. But still, for my collection, I like that ox. And this one, also very interesting. Split Master. It is just like a chopper one, but I think it's older. The reason why they're not so clean, it's because um, I actually use them occasionally, because they are pretty awesome tools. And it's a great investment. It's like antique pieces of tools. It's really hard to find a tool like that, this kind of axe. Next one, even harder to find than a split master. Chopper one, they still make them. This ones, they don't make them anymore. As you can see, if you put them side by side, it's quite a big difference. This one is thicker, and whenever you try to flip it, don't flip too much. This one flips all the way out this way. So a little bit different. This side here is probably most expensive or most unique I ever found. You see how it's actually the blade over here goes apart as well and kicks out the wood. Totally very unique, pattern pending. Don't have the pattern number. The great divider, that's the name of it, but it is really hard to find. This is one of a kind. I only paid $200 for it. It is not in perfect condition, but it's amazing. So I could probably sell it for way more, but I'm keeping it for my collection. This is just the most unique ox for sure, how it's like, takes apart. Then we're gonna go into splitting molds. This is a Nordic axis and splitting molds. I love them because they do chop really good and split really good. Look how long that is. It's just so beautiful. I actually have quite, quite a few of these kinds, just different uh, color and things. Then I have kind of like a steel or this brand splitting axe over here. This one I, I haven't filmed. A really big handle metal over here. Beautiful, that brand is really nice. This is more like a splitting axe. So you can chop, but it's mostly made for splitting. Chopping axis is much skinnier. Love that tool though. And then I have right here 12 pound like iron head over here. It's all piece of metal. You see, it's pretty big, it can stand up. Then I have right here 16 pounds, even bigger. Look at that. Looks like one of those old school irons. And you wouldn't believe it. 24 pounds. That looks like a baby splitting axe. 24 pounds, so double this size. Really hard to get in the original condition, so it's definitely very unique. Look at the size difference in length of it as well. It's huge, especially even this one too. So yeah, I really like that splitting axes. Very heavy. Well, I should call them splitting moles, but whatever. Look how big that is and heavy. Somebody would like 
drive it in and bend it on this side to split the big rounds. Then, I don't think I even filmed this one. This axe is very unique. This is a firefighting axe. This is non-sparking metal over here. So if you're going to be chopping to something and there is uh, maybe gasoline or whatnot, it's not going to spark up. That's the idea of this ox. So firefighting tool. Next, what is this? I paid quite a bit of money for this. Timber, uh, two timber and something Kelly works. These things are vintage six pound head ox. It's actually a really good chopper. But at the same time, it's a really good splitter. It's really vintage. Uh, it costs a lot of money and good condition tools like that. So I got one of these for me, made a video of it and kept it. Then you have the competition axes. This is the most expensive axe I ever bought. Uh, as you can see, still a little bit dirty because I use them. Don't care. Same brand as you can see. And this thing chop. These things are beautiful. The competition chopping ox very nice i love that ox and it was like 450 dollars actually before that i bought this one was most expensive chopping ox i don't know if i can be able to open it i think i will that one was like 300 something dollars and then the other one got even more expensive that i found online very nice brand and this one hand forged this one $750 on Amazon and that thing is a beast. I love the polished look to it. You see it? I chopped through it. It's like a razor sharp. It's much thicker blade versus this one, but it's just different preference. These two axes are both amazing. I love the polish finish. So this is the most expensive axe I ever bought. So yeah, that's my collection boxes and I have some other stuff I have a couple more hatchets I don't know where is it. one more out somewhere out here in the garage I use it all the time so take this out this thing is a razor sharp I need to put it to the test I bought it never used it yet double bead like a camp axe a razor sharp come out of factory so the reason why this one's more expensive, because the steel is very high quality. This thing is fun, and it could be towing one as well, and camping. Just a fun tool to have for sure. So yeah, let me know in comments below which axe was your favorite. I honestly, I like them all for different reasons. But yeah, how many axes do you have?